Welcome everyone to this home for sale in Henderson, Nevada. I'm Andrew Guyant with Simply Vegas, and I have a new listing on the market here for you today. This home's in Sun City Anthem, a 55 plus community. It's 2,512 square foot, three bedroom, four bath, listed for 750,000. You see right away those two gigantic canary palms, really well maintained and manicured, super healthy. And we have a two car garage and then this garage over here, what is that for? That's a golf cart garage. This is a golf cart community. Um, golf course kind of winds all through these homes here and you can take your golf cart, go down to the you know, recreation center, go to the golf course, whatever you need to do. It is a golf course community. So uh, very cool with that third garage, which we'll take a look at in a moment. You definitely cannot fit a car in there. <laughs> a little too narrow. So yeah, you have this two car garage here. Uh, the driveway has been finished as well. Uh, it's been, it's like a stamped concrete that's been painted with a real nice paver, uh, strip on either side. Looking down this side, just desert landscape, fence, maybe your AC unit, not a whole lot going on over there. We do have some turf in the front yard. Some nice rock desert landscape. Simple, easy to maintain. It's a real clip uh, cut, <laughs> really quick cut and clean up. And this is that golf cart garage with the nice little windy driveway to pull up. So this home has some great uh, unique features. It does have a casita, which we're gonna check out and uh, a little courtyard that's kind of gated in. So you have this big security door here that you can lock, and then that brings us into this courtyard. So you have a covered patio, you have your casita, that golf cart garage, just a big open patio space. We have a door into, there's kind of a double primary bedroom situation here. So we do have a door here that goes into one of the primary bedrooms then a door here that goes into the other primary something like this fountain will stay with the home we would want to clarify that just to be sure that you didn't show up and that fountain wasn't here and then they have this uh looks like an aluma wood patio covering to give you some shade over here and there's plenty of room for table chairs whatever you want to do out here so let's go ahead and start inside we'll come back to that casita last so you can see what that's all about. But this is going to be a big open floor plan as we walk in. Again, 2,512 square feet plus that extra square footage outside. Big built-in uh, entertainment area with some pineapple cactus decor above it. We have a ceiling fan. And then I'm guessing this is, so we have a wet bar here, which is real nice. We have the entertainment area, the wet bar. Then we kind of have this little area right here. It almost looks like a formal dining. But you also have one behind me and you also have a kitchen nook. Let me know what you think this area is for because we have our kitchen nook here, which would be like your breakfast table. Then we have your formal dining room here so uh, like a sitting reading room I i'm not sure what that space will be used for you tell me what you would use that space for Do you have all kind of the other functions covered all right so we'll go check out that kitchen in just a moment uh this is going to be that formal dining room which is not that other area just real big to open space you kind of have to cut through there with a little bit of a butler's pantry and uh yeah you could fit a massive table there with plenty of chairs and we'll swing back to the right here. So we do have a powder room here, half bath. We have the pedestal sink, super simple and clean. Not too much going on. I will point out the interior doors are upgraded. You can see that they're very tall and they have the, uh, it's not just a plain white door. The squares have a little bit of a thing going on there. You're going to have an office here. It's like a dedicated office. Looks like they just left the desk. Uh, I've talked about this a lot in the last video. Something like this, they just left it behind. It's yours if you want it. If you're like, Andrew, I do not want that desk. That thing better not be here. We'll get rid of it for you. We'll figure it out. 
between me and the other agent, we should be able to figure that out. <laughs> it shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, so we come around this way. We have a kind of a cloak, a cloak, a coat closet right off the garage door here. And then the laundry room with plenty of shelving and cabinets and a sink table, washer, dryer come with the home. And yeah, just a good sized laundry room there. Again, those upgraded doors. And then this is going to be the two car garage, insulated garage doors, mostly, uh, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. We have 20 and we're missing four panels. So 16 panels are insulated. Four panels are not. So you have a semi-efficient uh, insulated garage door there. Lots of uh, storage here, built-ins, all going to stay with the home. You have your uh, your water valve main shut off there. Some electric panels, water heater, and more built-in storage. Real tall ceilings in here, too. The water heater looks like it's sometime newer than the home, I would guess. Again, that's why we get that inspection. So we come back in through the garage. Immediately, immediately to the left is going to be this big... Uh, Kind of a secondary primary almost. Uh, you see a very large room with a bathroom. Uh, it's got the sink, toilet, shower. So a full bath and that does have those doors. That's going right out to that courtyard. We saw those doors from the outside. All right. Uh, we sneak back through here. And we will get to the kitchen. You have to see the other primary bedroom. It's gigantic. So big open kitchen. This is going to be that little breakfast nook I talked about. Kitchen, little breakfast table there. Plenty of cabinets. You have a stove here. Microwave is kind of tucked in the corner. Looks like it was an overhead microwave, but they replaced the hood with something new so now your microwave is just chilling over there we have to look into that um, we have the dishwasher there the sink in white with the chrome faucet some sort of water filtration system gas stove there's that new range pack air don't know if I'm familiar with Pack Air. It might not be new. Hard to say. Interesting. GE profiles. And yeah, there's that microwave they've removed. Comes with the refrigerator. Refrigerator looks like it's fairly new too, possibly. And yeah, really nice granite. High quality cabinets. Good looking open kitchen for sure. Nice tall backsplash also. So that's going to be it for this main living area. And let's go check out this other bedroom over here. So again, those bedrooms separated from the middle of the home. And this is a massive primary bedroom. Full bath over in the corner there. Plenty of room. You could fit two king-size beds, a queen-size bed, a couple chairs, some dressers. I mean, this room is massive. It's the whole width of the house, not width, depth. And then the primary bathroom, water closet with door, big soaker tub, super clean glass shower. Everything looks very clean. Bubble glass window, L-shaped countertop with two sinks. Those original sinks begin very, very clean. This lighting has been changed at some time. And the closet back here. A large walk-in closet also. Plenty of room to hang stuff. You have your attic access, couple lights. And yeah, just plenty of storage, shelving. All right, so I think that's about it for the inside of this house. We're going to go take a quick peek out back. We've almost seen it all. Stay tuned for that casita. I'm Andrew Guy with Simply Vegas. Please let me know if you like this video. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of these uh, beautiful home tours. You want to see these homes right when they hit the market. So we do have a little bit of a strip view. I'm catching a few of the strip buildings there, but it's it's not uh, 
anything spectacular, but it will be a nice little look off to the left here. We have some nice turf and then they have this shrub kind of blocking. A lot of these fences are gonna be the iron fence like you see there. So you put up some shrubbery kind of to give you some privacy. So you're not staring right into your neighbor's backyard. And they've done the same with some roses as well. I actually like this little sculpture here. That's pretty cool right in the middle. Looks nice. Looks nice with the backyard. And then over here on Easter Island, we have some of those heads. I hear the bodies go all the way down the ground, like 80 feet. But yeah, we're a long way from Henderson. All right, and then just some rose bushes. We'll get a quick look at the back of the home here. So yeah, I'm Andrew Guyant with Simply Vegas. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm wrapping it up, but we didn't see the casita. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> we, we're not done yet. Going back inside. Here we go. So yeah, beautiful backyard. You know, not, not a huge space out there, but you do have this wonderful area uh, up here. So, and you do have that view and, and it is cozy back there. It just depends on kind of what you want to do in your backyard. So first we'll take a look in this little golf cart closet. So this is what you're going to get. Um, this one does have a garage door opener. I'm not sure that they all do. I think they actually don't come with that and you have to add it. They will be wired up ready to go, but you have to add it. And then, yeah, this garage door is either newer or just hasn't been used much at all. It looks in really great shape. Roll that up, pull your garage cart in. Uh, they do have an outlet on the wall there for charging. It looks like it's a little bit of a higher power outlet too. So you know you probably need uh, more than just the standard. That's going to be your golf cart closet. And this, this is a casita. So a casita is like the mother-in-law suite or a separate you know, uh, house outside of the regular house that has a bedroom, closet, um, sink, bathroom. So usually not like a kitchenette, really. That'd be more of a next gen home. And usually those are like attached, but we do have the sink and storage here. And then a nice kind of living space here, which would be your bedroom, living room, family room, like a studio. And then you do have a little walk-in closet here. Most of these casitos are really designed pretty much the same in some city. You're going to get the same kind of design as this. The way they're orientated with the hall may be a little different. That front courtyard may vary. But overall, you're going to kind of get this set up inside in varying sizes. So we do have just a simple sink, the toilet, the walk-in uh, three-quarter stand-up shower. And again, super clean, really nice, thick, plush carpet. This is that original carpet when the home was built, though. You can feel that. You see this carpet. They must have sold this thing by the truckload because so many of these Sun City homes have this super thick carpet with a super thick padding. Feels really good on the feet, but typically it's, you know, 22, 23 years old. So, all right, that's it. Here's the courtyard. I'm Andrew Guy. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Please check out the next one. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy. Thanks.